as this old game shows you how to install new side art on your arcade game. Today's game is Atari's Food Fight. First lay your cabinet down on its side, and lay your new art on top of it. You should cut away any excess material that's not needed, but leave at least a few inches from the cabinet's edge. Next, align the art on the cabinet. In this case it's for Food Fight, which should be placed two and a quarter inches from the bottom of the cabinet to the first black art outline and a half inch from the back edge. Once your art is in place, clamp the art so it does not move and always use padding on the art side of the vinyl. You can use tape as well but it might not be as secure and might move or shift. I found these three points to be great places to lock the art down. Also trim away any excess vinyl, so the clamp can hold down the vinyl without bunching or binding. Yes, I am wearing a Food Fight t-shirt, which I purchased from AtariGames.com and were also screen printed using the original Atari art films. Once in place, the art should lay completely flat. Then check all your measurements and placements one last time. You're now ready to begin. Peel back the vinyl about 5 to 6 inches. Then cut some of the backing off to reveal about 1 or 2 inches of the bottom of the cabinet. Fold the art back down and squeegee the art down to the cabinet. Now because this art is not pre-masked, I am using a squeegee that has a cut and slip, which can be purchased from this oldgame.com or at a local sign supply shop. Now you can remove your clamps or tape. Next you should use a 36 inch cardboard tube, which you can buy from the post office use from a previous art shipment, or raid the Christmas gift wrapping stash. This will help you keep the vinyl up and away from the cabinet surface, as well as keep the art from bending down on changing angles. Next begin to peel back a couple of inches of the vinyl backing. It might be a little hard at first but will get easier to peel as you go, only exposing about 1 to 2 inches of vinyl at a time. Squeegee the art to the cabinet as straight across as you can, and working your way up as evenly as you can. On art that is not pre-masked, extra care should be taken when pressing the squeegee into the vinyl, especially when you reach the point where the vinyl stops at the roll, where you're removing the backing. Always take your time, and do not rush the process. Patience is key, and if you get any bubbles or creases, slowly heat the vinyl with a heat gun and lift from the cabinet, 
then continue to squeegee back into place. The vinyl used for a food fight, and most of the art printed by this old game.com, is some of the best 3M vinyl available, and should give you a bubble free installation every time. On a side note, I am often asked, how was the side art aligned, and installed at the factory? The answer is, they didn't. Plain white vinyl was laminated to sheets of particle board, that were clear coated into polyurethane. This gave the vinyl better stick, and a nice smooth and even surface. Then, this piece was screen printed one color at a time. Once the printing was finished, the piece was cut on a router to the cabinet's shape, and then the cabinet was assembled. So they never had to align, and install side art like this, on thousands of cabinets. Always be careful around the cabinet's front edge. As it changes angle and shape, you do not want to squeegee down too hard, off the edge. Almost done. This art just looks so good and clean. You just want to lick it. Personally, I prefer taking the vinyl and wrapping the edge. Start by making a few slits, in the vinyl, at 45 degrees, and stopping about an inch from the cabinet. Just let the vinyl flap and fold down. This may vary, from art and cabinet, but all the basic steps here are the same. Next. You will slowly begin to heat the vinyl with a heat gun. Use a low setting. And as you begin to heat the vinyl, it will start to be very easy to work with. As you pull it down off the edge, and press it into the wood. Though I am not sure, this will work as well if you have side art that is printing off the edge or cheaper laminated inkjet art. So extra care or testing should be performed.
When pulling the vinyl and sticking it to the edge, take any excess and stick it to the cabinet where it's out of the way. It takes time to get it just right. And some angles might be harder than others. So go slow. And try to keep any wrinkles below the T molding cut. Now for the easy part. Take an X-Acto knife. And cut the vinyl and the T-molding groove. Always use a new blade. Every time you start a new project installation. You will thank me later. And it is probably the cheapest part of your restoration. This is why I would recommend doing the kick plate last. The excess adhesive could ruin the print of the kick plate art. If you need to paint the inside of the cabinet, I would also recommend doing it after the side art installation, for the same reason. The strong adhesive, might just pull up the fresh paint underneath.
Remove any excess vinyl as you trim it off. Next, you're ready to install your team molding. I like to use a small rubber mallet, especially on this food fight cabinet's tight rounded corners and edges. I do find it easier sometimes, to make little V-cuts in the T-molding ridging, when trying to bend over tight angles. Well thanks for watching. I hope these tips, and techniques help you install better side art, on your arcade game restorations. Join us next time when we install the kick plate art for Food Fight and Agent X.